Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to discuss the example for the differentiation. By using log function, differentiate y equals to exponent to the power of square root of x. So question said by using log function. So means that we have to log both sides. So if we log both sides, here will be the situation. So kindly focus on ln e. So if we simplify, we will have 1. So now rewrite the situation. ln y equals to x to the power of 1 over 2. So kindly differentiate the situation with respect to x. So differentiate ln y and we will have 1 over y multiply with dy dx because this is not the x. We are differentiate the situation with respect to x. That's why we need to add on dy dx. Focus on the right hand side. If we differentiate x to the power 1 over 2 with respect to x, and we will have 1 over 2 x to the power of negative 1 over 2. So do remember to differentiate the x, which is the internal function, and we will have 1. Rewrite the situation. So 1 over y multiplied with dy dx is equals to 1 over 2x. So rewrite the situation. dy dx is equals to y over 2x. So as we all know, y actually is equals to exponent to the power of square root x. So finally, dy dx is equals to e to the power of square root of x over 2x. Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss the example for differentiation. Given the equation of a curve is 1 over x, so where I'm going to modify the situation where we have x to the power negative 1 plus 1 over y, which will be y to the power negative 1 equals to 1 over a, where a is a constant. Prove that the first derivative is equal to negative y squared over x squared. So means that we have to differentiate the situation with respect to x. And then find the equation of the tangent where we have the equation of a straight line y equals to mx plus c, where m is the gradient, c is the intercept to the curve at the point 2a, 2a. So meaning that x equals to 2a, y equals to 2a. So first part, kindly focus on 1 over x plus 1 over y equals to 1 over a. Find the dy dx. So differentiate x to the power negative 1 with respect to x. So we will have negative x to the power of negative 2. Second one, focus on the y to the power of negative 1. Differentiate the situation with respect to x. And we will have negative y to the power of negative 2. Since the y is not the variable for x, so we need to add on the dy dx. Equals to differentiate 1 over a. As we all know, a is a constant. If you differentiate the constant, and we will have 0. Kindly rewrite the situation. Negative 1 over x squared minus 1 over y squared multiply with the dy dx. Rearrange the situation. And we will have negative 1 over y squared multiply with the dy dx is equal to 1 over x squared. So multiply both sides with negative y squared and we will have dy dx equals to negative y squared over x squared. So kindly refers to this part and we notice that we already proved the situation. The second task is to find the equation of the tangent. So where we have 
dy dx is equal to the gradient. So kindly substitute dy dx with the value y and x. So in here, the y is 2a bracket square over the x square where we have another 2a square. And if we simplify, we will have the gradient equals to negative 1. So kindly substitute the gradient dy dx or we can say the m into the equation. So y is equals to negative x plus c with the point 2a, 2a. So now we are going to substitute the value x and y. So where we will have 2a equals to negative 2a plus c. So c will be equals to 4a. So finally, y is equals to negative x plus with the 4a. So that will be the equation of the tangent to the curve at the point 2a, 2a. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you think the video is useful, kindly consider to like, comment, share and subscribe.